Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria, and today we're going to be talking about Mercury retrograde. Now, I feel like Mercury retrograde is one of those times in astrological history, well, astrological existence, where whether or not you appreciate astrology, live by astrology, or just totally disrespect astrology, you don't care, or you don't have any feelings towards it, you know what Mercury retrograde is for the most part. If not, I'm going to go ahead and break it down for you really, really quickly. It's the time in our season, in our lives, where we can watch communication breakdowns, weird snafus, travel handicap energies happening where it's like something should be moving forward and all of a sudden there's some type of issue that just entangles it messes it up and throws a wrench in all of your plans it's so wildly recognized that whether or not you respect astrology or not people always have a way of being like what is mercury retrograde like what is actually happening they do the same thing with the full moons which i find that so funny if you didn't actually believe in astrology and respect astrology usually when people say that they're right Am I right? So if you can see that something is happening and you can literally put your finger on it, it's got to be either the full moon or Mercury retrograde, then there's got to be some truth to this, right? Maybe just a little bit, just a little thought that I had. But either way, Mercury retrograde, as it's always known, can be very problematic. It can bring up a lot of miscommunications. You can lose a lot of stuff that you would normally keep an eye on, especially when it comes to technology or little bits, little tiny things like rings or something that is valuable to you. It's something that you, your glasses, it's like you're walking around in a mental fog. Why is this? Well, because Mercury actually rules our mind. It rules our ability to process information and to understand the world around us, to be a bit, a bit more organized and put together and well thought. All of those energies are now in a tangled mess. Why? Because the planet that rules those energies is deciding that now is a great time for me to take a step back, to rest, to recuperate. So it's not giving all of its natural strength to that, to us. It's giving its energy to itself and restoring and rebuilding and restructuring. So what do we do during these times? We hopefully, fingers crossed, we mirror the energy of those planets. Now you guys know, <laughs> Because I say this all the time, if you know how to work with the planets, you can make them work for you and not against you. And this is the t this is how to work with this uh, energy of this planet is to mirror what it is that it's doing. If Mercury is not racing around and trying to book its schedule or book its calendar so that it's packed and stacked and everything is guns guns blazing, like ready to go, if it's not doing that, or if it's enticing us or encouraging us to not do that, then maybe we should follow in its footsteps. That is the best way to deal with Mercury retrograde traffic is what I'm going to call it. So go ahead and grab some tea, grab some coffee, grab an iced cup of water, whatever it is that makes you feel very nourished and supported, grab a snack, whatever the case is, and let's go ahead and dive into exactly what to expect for this Mercury retrograde season. All right, my love. So as I already said, Mercury retrograde is going to be creating a lot of communication issues and binds and things that have a tendency to set us back. So the way to survive this Mercury retrograde season this year is to create additional flexibility and fluidity in your calendar, in your schedule. If I were you, if I was going to book anything, I would make sure that there is an hour, two hour gaps in between each project to give you extra time, ample time to already make up for time that would be lost inevitably because Mercury retrograde is creating a lot of issues, like not, not a lot of issues, but um, trouble spots, things that need your attention and things to fly off unexpectedly. This is already going to give you a advance in front of everybody else because you already know and you've already made room for things to kind of fly off or go left instead of right. <laughs> if you guys hear any noise in the background, that's Nova deciding that now is a great time to have a snack. 
Um, another way that you could work through this Mercury retrograde season is to make sure that you are double, triple checking, dotting your I's, crossing your T's. This means that if there's an email that you're sending out, make sure you're double checking who it is that you're actually sending this email to. If you're copy and pasting something, make sure that the accuracy of what you're copy and pasting is what it is that you're actually trying to say. And the other thing too, is that if this is not email or technology um, conversations that are happening during technology, for example, your uh, text messages or social media, then in person, make sure that you're asking people for clarity or for confirmation ask them, what do you hear me saying right now? Like, are we on the same page? I wouldn't accept, yeah, 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 no, I get it, as an answer. I would say, can you just, for clarification, just kind of repeat back to me to make sure that you real, that I re that I know that you're understanding what it is that I'm saying, because I would hate for you to mis misinterpret my intention or misinterpret what it is that I'm trying to say here. Having said that, these are all present day communication, um, resources to help you in the present moment. For example, if we're talking face-to-face -face now, then that applies to right now. How, With that being said, there is conversations of the past that might absolutely resurface during this time. If you have lost contact with someone, if you're not talking to someone, if there's an issue, like an old fight or something that has never, that you know, there's no closure that was gained from this connection or from this in this relationship, Mercury retrograde, I promise you probably will bring this around. I would put, I would bet a lot that Mercury retrograde would bring in this issue that is unresolved. Now, what that will look like will be different for everyone. There are some of us that will walk out of it having a really tremendous sense of closure. There will be some of us that you will see that this is an unchanged or unchangeable situation that you cannot for the life of you see eye to eye, or maybe you will gain peace with the fact that maybe this relationship is meant to look one way instead of the high hopes that is that you were hoping for. And that is also something that Mercury Retrograde, the gift that Mercury Retrograde is going to give to every single one of us is the ability to have peace with the way things are instead of what we wish and want them to be. Another thing that I want to talk to you guys about for this Mercury retrograde season in particular is about reconnection to community. Now, don't forget that you are not the only person on the face of this earth, although sometimes it kind of feels that way, especially if you are your own best friend and your biggest advocate and your biggest fan. Sometimes you can forget that there are other people out there that are equally suffering and struggling. And this is definitely impacted or definitely being seen lately with all of these major planets that are currently retrograde. I got a comment recently where someone was like, Jess, is this a political channel now? Why do you keep talking about government? Why do you keep talking about politics? Why are you talking about the economy? Well, because these are issues that are found within the astrology chart, even though this is a spiritual way of understanding what's going on around us government, politics, money, and global events are absolutely showcased in our world and our day to day and are influenced by the planets around us. And this is not something that has changed or is changing. Hold on just a second, my camera's kind of, the office is under works right now as, as usual. I'm always moving things around. But anyways, back to what I was, I was saying that these planets, they are not moving. They are moving, but they're moving very slowly. And the emphasis that they are exerting their effort into is, of course, our government, politics, business spending, businesses, large and small, and policy change and reform and government, uh, global warming. You see it on the news, but it's not a coincidence. It's You can see it within the chart. If all of these planets are creating major shifts that are impacting people's lives in great life-changing ways. A lot of people will never go back to the way that their lives once were. And that will range from losing a home to fire to global events that are triggered by global warming, the wiping out of communities, 
violence. If these people are never, or you can relate to this, if your life will never go back to the way that it was, this season Mercury retrograde is a wonderful time to go back or to find ways to stop what it is that you're doing, to stop prioritizing your own needs, your own day-to-day -day dramas, you know, and we all have them and to prioritize connection with other people and looking out for other people and sharing your resources. This is super amplified with Chiron retrograde in the sign of Aries. Aries is known for being very self starter, like the self starter, the person who advocates for others and is the advocate for major change and leads that change. With Chiron retrograde, there's a wonderful way to reconnect with ourselves by finding purpose and helping others. The very opposite of Aries is Libra. And Libra is very sympathetic and diplomatic and fair. So this is a wonderful time to lean into helping those who have lost everything. This is about leaning into leaning into helping others and, and showing up for others in a way that doesn't exclusively put ourselves first. It's asking questions and how can I help you and how can I be of service? This is a wonderful way to use this Mer Mercury retrograde time. It doesn't always have to be like, I'm going to save the world. I'm going to start an organization and make a GoFundMe. And if that's how you want to show up and give back, go go do it. Be great. Send me the links. I'm here to support too. It could also be the smaller but very still impactful meaningful acts of service for example walking along the beach and doing your own little cleanup maybe reaching out to a friend who has experienced their own sense of loss helping someone elderly cross the street or carry their groceries or load their groceries into their car these are things that make a major difference and mercury retrograde at this time is a wonderful way to that energy right there that action those action steps that you take are going to be really wonderfully felt believe me during this season more than they usually do because the, the the sense of traumatic change around us globally is heightened now more than ever or the highest that it's ever been in a very long time having said that this mercury retrograde season in particular Mercury is going to be directly, almost directly conjunct Mars at the time that this happens. Mars, for those of you guys that don't know, it rules our drive, our ambition, and how we move into action to save others, to save ourselves, or to pursue a goal. And this is going to amplif amplify even further the, the need, the desire to put our feelings of community and help and engaging and interacting and communicating and resolving issues to the forefront and to not procrastinate, to actually make it something that you do instead of something that you say that you're gonna do and it never gets done. Now, of course, we could use this in ways to help ourselves, help our businesses, rebranding. Those are wonderful ways too to use this Mercury Retrograde, but especially when it comes to detailing, because remember I said Mercury's Retrograde during this time is gonna be happening in the sign of Virgo. Virgo rules attention to detail, but it also rules service to others. This is how we can s sacrifice ourselves to some extent, not to the point where you're hurting yourself, but in the way that you know that where your energy is going, it will be well appreciated and well received. Virgos naturally have a tendency, and it doesn't matter what Virgo rules within your chart, but however you can find where this energy will reveal itself, um, strongly just kind of flow naturally but Virgo energy whatever it rules within your chart or if you have Virgo placements it doesn't matter the Virgo energy is naturally works in service to others and tends to put others before itself and especially when it knows that it's going to help other people and this could be offensive to some people when they think well what the hell or you think you're better than maybe it's because you <laughs> you you say that your way is right. It's because the Virgo mindset and the Virgo energy has has the ability to really analyze all aspects in order to create the solution. And usually that's something to trust instead of look at as competition or to be offended by if you can bring yourself to it. Because Virgo, I'm a Virgo myself, so I know Virgo's intentions are usually 
usually a healthy Virgo is coming from a right is coming from the right place. So that's pretty much your survival that I can I can say and that I can show for right now. I do have other videos about Mercury retrograde on my YouTube channel. You can definitely search them. I'll link them down below. That will be helpful to you. This Vir Mercury retrograde season though, I knew I had to do a video about it specifically just because of all the major events that have already happened, that have already occurred, that have already taken place and that we're currently in the midst of now. I knew that this energy was definitely going to be different and more amplified. Having said that, one last thing I want to say, we do have this beautiful trine in the planets right now between Uranus, Pluto, Mars, Mercury. I'm recording this video on the, let's see what today's date is, the 17th of August. Mercury retrograde is right around the corner. We are in Mercury retrograde shadow. Oh my God, you guys, so funny. So I'm literally like, oh yeah, we're in Mercury retrograde shadow phase. So we're already feeling the effects of Mercury retrograde. And then my phone just crashes and I'm just like, eh, of course it did. Literally proving my point. So yeah, guys, we are already in Mercury, Mercury retrograde shadow phase. You can already, this means that we're already feeling the effects of this, the influence of that, probably not as strong as we will when Mercury actually goes retrograde. Again, this is August 23rd to September 14th, but still felt nonetheless. So you might hear it in me stumbling over my words and tongue-tied <laughs> that's always kind of like my natural state of being it is what it is again i'm ruled by mercury myself and um your girl her mind runs a mile a minute so imagine trying to catch up with that either way guys we are already feeling this if you're watching this video at the time of me uploading it so just be aware go ahead and start making some changes in your calendar i myself have had to do that <laughs> a lot i do want to say one last note before i say goodbye to you guys and hopefully subscribe to the YouTube channel so it's not a goodbye forever. It's just to see you later. But I do want to say that this is a wonderful time for going to your journal, going to your notebooks, or going to places that are sacred and safe for you just to pour your heart out and to be seen for who you are. Virgo energy can be very tough on itself. It can be very nitpicking. It can be really self-critical. I would love to set the intention that this Mercury retrograde season be something that is empowering and nice to you instead of something that feels like, you know, tough, especially again, with there's so many things going on. And also I feel like for many of us, there's so much lessons that we've learned and so much change and growth and transformation and evolution that it can be exhausting on even the strongest human soul, especially if you're here, like if you're a sensitive human spirit, guys, remember you're doing the best that you can. So this Mercury retrograde season can also open up the door for you to have a new perspective shift with how you talk to yourself. Are you being your best friend? Are you being a kind, nurturing spirit to yourself? Or are you someone who is just ravaging your internal psyche when ultimately at the end of the day you're worth grace and patience and kindness and compassion and unconditional love am i right so my intention is that that is what this retrograde season brings to you whether your ex comes back or calls you whether your your car breaks down on the side of the highway or you you're scheduling your oil changes whether your laptop is working fluidly or you spill fluids on the laptop you know it's regardless of those external things what is the internal climate what is the internal world looking and feeling like ultimately as your friend and as your astrologer that is going to be the most important thing at the end of the day and i prioritize that over everything else so i'm sending you guys all of my love thank you guys so much for hanging out with me please let me know how you're faring during the entirety of this mercury retrograde season I will be shuffling almost every day for Bahati Love Notes. This is the subscription service where I send channeled messages and inspiration and guidance and tarot and sometimes astrology transits. We talk about that from my own sacred space to you. It's $5 a month. So it's pretty reasonable for most people. And um, you only get charged once a month, but it's almost every day. That's 30 readings or 28 readings minimum in a month. So I will send you guys all of my love and hopefully I'll see you guys there. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing. 
all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Mahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.